Hi everyone, welcome to the restaurant show and I have the executive chef of Wise Guys, Matt Kazmerzak. How are you Correct. doing? Did I say that correctly? Absolutely. <laughs> I know I struggled with it last time. <laughs> so, um, Chef Matt, what are we going to be showing today from Wise Guys? Um, well, today we're doing our, a couple of our small plates. We got our uh, roasted beet salad. Okay. Uh, it's one of our more popular salads on the uh, menu. I, um, when, he, when I saw it, I was like, did you know that's my favorite? <laughs> I love beets. And, you know, that's, I think I love the beets. But <laughs> yeah. um, I know there's some people that, like in my house, um, my husband is not fond of them, so no, and the kids definitely aren't. So this is like a beautiful salad that I get to um, get when I get to Wise Guys, um, and it has all the delicious items. What are yes, in it? What's the secret? Uh, well, we braise our beets in um, orange juice. Oh. Uh, that's kind of like one of our big secrets. We braise them for a couple hours so they're nice and soft. Um, okay. And we also throw a little garlic and thyme in there. So about how long does that process take um, usually? Roughly about an hour to two hours, depending yeah. on some of the beets are bigger, some are smaller. Exactly. And you kind of do the, the fork and the potato test, you know, like you're, you just kind of stab right. them. That's basically. Is that when you would know, if you were to yeah. cook it at home, that's when you know it's exactly. cooked, it's just like a potato. It's, okay. it's the same, I'm sure everyone's done, the, stuck a, micro, or a potato in the microwave right. and stabbed it. Right, exactly. Same thing, same uh, concept applies Beautiful. for the beets. Um, and then we top it with uh, some crumbled goat cheese, some sh shaved red onions, and uh, candy pecans that we do in-house. And I love all of the textures and the flavors. are just so complimentary absolutely. to each other. So this is, again, on your tapas menu, yes, or absolutely. you can consider it one of your salads, um, something like that. So this, that's one item. And now he brought our second favorite <laughs> item at my house is this one. <laughs> yeah, that's our shrimp and cow. That's our, our shrimp and calamari, I'm sorry. Um, that's our most popular dish on the menu. Forever. Forever. I mean, for, for as long, since you opened. Yeah. I know the presentation has changed a little bit because yeah, I love it's, this it's been, look. It's been tweaked yeah. and modified and everything, but I but think we've, right now, that's what we're, we're set on and it's, you know, it's a kind of cool looking, it's like a a, everything kind of spills out and, you know, it's And a of course look. it's served with chopsticks when it comes yes, out, which I absolutely. love. It's such a great, it's such a great item and it's great for sharing. Um, and just has a little bit of kick to it, right? It's not, right. it's not like this super spicy where no, you're going to be. it's not yeah. very spicy at all. Like I'm not a huge spice fan, right, but right. it's, to me, it's, I feel like it's a great balance. It's delicious. It. It's one of my, this meal alone, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> but it doesn't yeah. stop here at Wise Guys. So right. what are we going to be showing today as far as an entree item? Um, one of our entrees we have is our Mediterranean uh, broiled shrimp. Okay. Um, this yeah, is one of the things we're going to do is our uh, farro. Yeah, let's just put a um, it It's called uh, farrakhan. Farrakhan, um, okay. But we call it farro just for short. Okay. Um, it's actually an ancient grain. We get that uh, sourced out of uh, Ensign Mills from uh, Charleston. In South and keeping it and keeping it local, which, right, which we absolutely. all love. And now this is this is a grain, so it's it's almost like it, it, it um, instead of a rice right. or something that this is something a little bit. It's even it's meatier. Yeah. It, um, it just it definitely fills you up. It is a great great grain. If you haven't tried it, because I know it's becoming very popular on absolutely. menus along with a lot of like the quinoas and the couscous. Those absolutely. are coming out a lot more. This is the real deal. Yeah, and that one right there, when we do, when we order that, we actually have to, I ordered about a week in advance. It's a special they actually, order. Yeah, they, they mill it all in-house. They right. don't do anything until you actually place your order. Until you order. It's not um, something that's set, it's kept on a box and just right. put on the shelf. Yeah, and they send it in, it. and I usually get about 50 pounds of it in a time, wow. and it goes. Yeah, yeah, matter, definitely, you know, definitely. Um, so what are we cooking with here now, then? So what we're going to start with on this, we've got our baby spinach um, tabbouleh, which tabbouleh is basically just a mixture of. Uh, yeah, can we put a little bit of yeah. next to that too? Tabbouleh is a, is a really is a main ingredient for Absolutely. a lot of Mediterranean. Yeah. And what what um, herbs did you put in here? Um, there's some chopped up cilantro, mm -hmm. uh, chopped parsley, some red onion, and uh, some lemon zest just to give gotcha. it some nice brightness. Yeah, to bright. Oh, I, I, actually, I can smell it. The cilantro yeah. and the lemon. I, you can, I love you it. You can smell that whenever I get my fingers, and I always yeah. smell the cilantro <laughs> and all that stuff. Nice and fresh, um, and it makes me feel like. I I'm eating something very light. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, so when you start off with this stuff, I always recommend starting off with your uh, with your spinach first. Beautiful. Um, that way, if you if you put all your food in there first and then start with your spinach, throw it in nice. Right. It's not going to have time to wilt down or anything. Right. Um, so you just want to get that in there, get that just popping a little okay. bit. Okay. It gets it all nice and wilted. Yeah. Um, you don't have to take it all the way down because by okay. the time you throw everything else in there, it's still gonna it's cook. It's going to, right. And then we're gonna throw in uh, some roasted tomatoes. Yeah, some They're roasted uh, tomatoes nice there. oven roasted tomatoes And you in guys there. do these in house, which are yes, beautiful. Because you have that beautiful oven or grill. Like, what's the name of it again? It's it's, uh, it's called a Montague grill. My, the Montague. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a fancy grill, but yeah. it, it takes, uh, takes some time to actually uh, learn how to master right, that thing. Right, right. Uh, but once you do, it's it's a very, it's very useful and easy tool to do. Uh, so once we get done with that, we're okay. gonna toss it in some tabbouleh, or I'm sorry, some uh, farro. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I know I'm asking about all the different <laughs> questions on here. Then the tabbouleh. 
Okay, so we just put in the um, farro. Yeah, and the farro we are we already cooked off in gotcha. advance. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and that's just like, a boiling. Yeah, you just okay. put that in the water. Um, okay. You don't have to really. It's just uh, like rice. It's, yeah, it's kind of like it. rice or something like pasta where you don't even have to have equal parts or anything. Right. Just boil it until it's nice and. Uh, and you drain comes it out off. Like that, okay. And then you strain great, it out. Great. Great. And for our purposes, we just do it with uh, water with salt and pepper in it okay. just to give it. Uh, some nice flavor. Because that is the color of it. Right. It's not like you added beef base or something Nothing like that. Nothing like that. That it is really like the that. grain color of it. Gotcha. And then once we end up getting all that, we add a nice handful of the tabbouleh uh, tabbou in there. And I think it's great because with the tabbouleh, if you make that all, let's say if you were to even attempt this at home, um, you can keep that on the side. You can add tomatoes to it. You can put it on a oh, salad. Absolutely. There's so many things you can do with it. Absolutely. It. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> now, with, um, now, this is the base then. Yes. Beautiful. And you just go ahead and pour that over on the plate right there. Now again, um, just as you're starting to plate this, this is an entree. Mm -hmm. um, again, wise guys first start out really doing tapas, big right. plate, uh, I'm sorry, um, small plates, uh, big wines, all, you know, wonderful towards tapas. Then you guys opened up the dining side, Absolutely. Of it, which is towards the back of the restaurant. If you mm -hmm. haven't seen it, um, they have a beautiful, gorgeous dining room that they actually, um, you can use it for private parties, etc. But um, otherwise, that this is apical, all of this is for early dining. Absolutely, and that's 25% off our whole... Uh, everything. Everything on the menu. Yeah, <laughs> which everything. I love it. So everything here and also your um, bar um, tab also. As you're plating up and we're finishing up, what did we just add to it? Because I see crunchy deliciousness yeah. on it. We that. added a uh, crispy uh, chickpeas, which is basically garbanzo beans. Absolutely. And then just topped it with a little bit of goat cheese right on top. That is absolutely All delicious. those flavors pop very well. Thank you, chef. And oh, remember, no you guys, check out Wise Guys over there in Main Street. Um, chef Matt and his fantastic staff open at what time? We open at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. And they do take reservations. Absolutely. We recommend them. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much, chef. Awesome. It's Thank been you a very pleasure. much for having me. We'll be back in just a moment. Moment.